we've got something like one and a quarter million specimens here in the collection. Some of the most unusual and fun are what we call entomopathogenic fungi. They're the ones that we call cordyceps fungi or zombie fungi. They invade the body of their host, they grow inside them, they eat all of their insides out, they manipulate their behavior, and then they kill them and burst out of their head or what have you. This particular individual's been infected, had all of her insides eaten out, and then you can see this kind of pale mycelium over the outside of the exoskeleton, and then these two long orange threads, those are the, the fruiting body. They're kind of like, if you like, a very simple mushroom, which will then emer emerge out of the leaf litter and spread spores to infect other tarantulas. They're really great. There's another group of fungi that I'm a big fan of. Those are the stinkhorns. They've evolved a, a fairly novel strategy to spread their spores um, in that they attract insects to come and do it for them by producing a really foul smelling gunge all over them that's loaded with the spores and it smells like rotting meat and poo. This is uh, Phallus induziatus. So up on this top part, this is the bit that would smell horrible. And they have this uh, white veil that kind of hangs down from them, like a bit like a skirt. Some of them look like phalluses, or there's one like this. This looks more like a, a squid or an octopus. And these now are fairly common in the UK. They're an introduced species from Australia and New Zealand. Um, and we can find these in hundreds in the gardens here. I hate mushrooms. <laughs> it's like having a mouthful of slugs. Blech.